Okay, the floors are sanded and they feel nice and smooth. I mean, we're not going to win any awards for these floors, yes, we are, Megan. but we live in a little cottage. And so you don't want pristine, right? You want yeah. a little bit more casual. Sure. Sure. Did I show you guys yet? I came up with a new stain that I think is going to work. Okay. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. I didn't start this video very well, so I'm just finishing editing and realized I needed to start it better. But if you haven't been here for a while, we have been renovating our little cottage and um, we had floor, wood floors that we wanted to add on to. We had the original wood floors in the bedrooms and in one hallway and just figured they were red oak. So we ordered a big pallet of red oak. And then when it came months later, um, realized that our floors, the originals were actually white oak for some reason. And we'd already stained them and now we'd already ordered these. And so I've been very stressed trying to figure out what, how I was going to stain them to match and how I was going to do that. And I finally decided this last week or these last few days just to make the leap and get it figured out. And that's where this video begins. So let's do it. Okay. So tomorrow is the big day. Welcome to Norpin South. Tomorrow is the big day where we're going to stain our floors and I have to figure out the formulation, which has been stressing me out. Mm. So I'm going to take my original formulation that I did on the other floors and I'm going to put it on the red oak. Look at this. We've got our and little test board. See what it looks like. Yeah, Mike made this test board for me. I'm so awesome. Yeah. We look legitimate now. So this is the red oak. Oh, red oak absorbs more and it's obviously redder. Obviously. Uh, maybe that's, look but at it this. also has more open graining in it and so it go it'll look absorb more of the stain. It can go darker. So there's the original. And then what I've done then is yeah. taken I took um special walnut, which is half so the the original is half special walnut, half Jacobian or Jacobian. And um, I took the special walnut, but I added classic gray to it mm. um, instead of the Jacobian. And we're gonna see, oh, that's very light, but maybe that's the way to go. That classic gray makes a big difference. Mm. Mm. So this was like my, I found this formulation on Pinterest. Um, Okay, that seems a little light. Mm. So maybe yeah. what I'm gonna have to do is add more special walnut, but let's go stick it next to the floors and see. How much does it change though as it dries or whatever? I mean, if, if it's similar, but it's it should be a little darker than the, mm -hmm. well, actually because of those floors are waxed, it would be about the same color, but this looks okay. way lighter to me. Okay. So, and still a little red. Let's go put it next to it and see. Careful, those are not super well connected. Okay. <laughs> Neither one of those works. This is closer, just a little yeah. red. So well, maybe, I mean, it's not, it's never going to match completely. Maybe what I should do is now go add the classic gray to that as well, mm. or classic, half classic gray, half Jacobian, Jacobian. That's what I'll try sure. next. Sure. Okay, this is how I mix my colors. I put them on the scale so it can be exact. Mm. So we're gonna do that and then we need the whoops okay so a little more jacobian but that's fine <laughs> let's go see what that looks like so this one is jacobian plus classic gray that's not really any less red is it um, it's darker. But it's not any less red. Yeah, I mean, but this is red oak, right? I mean... Yeah, but you I was hoping to be able to take some of them out. Mm. But, like, 
the OG didn't, the only thing the OG was was a little bit more red. Should we try just Jacobian? Maybe. We decided just to try, just to do with the Jacobian, because the Jacobian takes down the red, because it's kind of got a green to it. It's just dark. I mm -hmm. guess what you could do, if it's darker than the other floors, you could um, mix it with like um, mineral spirits, so it's not quite as thick. Mm. But you can see how that one's less red than this. You can see all those pinks in there. Yeah. And then we're gonna do just special walnut, and we're running out of space. Well, how many options do we really have is the question with our current. Oh, whoa, yeah, no. Whoa, yeah, no. Okay, so special walnut, that's actually good to know. It is so red. That wouldn't have been the one to mix with Wouldn't glasses. have been? No. Ah! Oh no. Megan. I messed up my sample. Cause see how much less red it, or you see much less of the pink in there. Can that, can the camera capture that? I think so, yeah. Yeah, much less of the pink. Mm-hmm. Let's go put this next to the floors and see how much darker it is. Okay. And before we make our final formulation, like, is it two times as dark? You know, do I need to cut it in half or might just need to cut it just like one fifth, you know? Totally. These are the questions we need to Everyone's know. Everyone's asking. Okay, so this is the Jacobian and that is much closer than Which I thought. Which one is? Right Wait here. It. This is much closer than I thought it was gonna be. There's still a little bit of warmth here, mm -hmm. but um, that is very close. This is still a little pink. Um, I don't even know if we need to cut it. I don't think you do. That is really, I mean, look at that. That's now, pretty close. What it probably does mean is I don't want to do too big of a section to give it time to like absorb too much. Mm, yeah. Because then it'll get a lot darker. I gotta like do small sections in white. Oh, so you mean, because the longer it sits there, it'll absorb more? Okay. Okay, it's the next morning. Mike is going to get the sander. And um, I have not decided on the floors yet. I don't know. I don't know if I even have the color combination yet. But um, I am going to, while he's gone, paint this wall really quickly, I think. That's the, that's what I, that's what I said I was gonna do. <laughs> I don't even, the problem is this, the hardest part for me is not the painting. It is finding all the supplies. So Mike's usually really good at that, but I want him to go get the sander. So I gotta, I gotta look for him. This is the master bath. It's amazingly fancy, but it's also where we keep all our supplies. And then, but I do have paint. I need to go get a roller because there's no more in here. Okay, before Mike leaves and before we can get started with any of it, he and Asher are gonna clear the furniture out of the space and get it all ready that way. paint is done and dry enough that we can now start sanding. You probably can't see, see it's just a little creamier and slightly darker. It is alabaster from Sher Sherwin-Williams. I did not paint this section because we are gonna be filling that with built-ins from floor to ceiling. And even a little bit, this I kind of went further than I needed to. But everything else is painted. I didn't worry about too much about up here because we're putting crown up. But um, I'm gonna, Mike and I are gonna kind of go back and forth sanding. We're starting with what? Grit, like 60? 60. We're gonna start with 60. With, this is just the um, finishing sander. We've made the mistake of getting the drum sander. drum sander. We will never do that again. I mean, never say never, I guess. But um, this is just sitting on top like this so it doesn't like scratch it and stuff. Anyway, so we're gonna do that. And then um, I haven't decided yet on the stain colors. Let me show you. I'm still, I'm still thinking. Um, where did they go, in here? Yeah, they're in there. We moved everything in here. 
all, all over the house. Um, so last night, so that's the stain I used on the floors and it is very close, but it's redder and probably redder than I want it to be because like the red tones really come out, but it is very close because it's the same stain. This is using, that was what I thought I was going to be doing, but that didn't work at all because then it's like light and pink and not, I'm not interested. This is using, this is Jacobian alone. And last night when I was talking to you guys, I thought I would just do Jacobian, but I can see now that it's too dark. And then um, this is part classic gray, part Jacobian. But can you see how it's still redder? Um, so I don't know what to do, honestly. I might try one more that has more Jacobian I don't know guys this is so much browner I don't know if I should work really really hard to match it or if it's good enough that match right there because it's the only place it's meeting up is right here and then the floors start heading in different direction so I don't know if it's a big deal or not I can't decide so I'm wondering if I should just pull those samples out here and just choose the one I like the color of best I have a cute kitty 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 you're so cute and, or if I should go and get some other stains and keep messing like an alchemist or something. Also, my kitty is so cute. I am not, we're not doing the laundry room in our bedroom today just because we can't, we didn't want to move all our furniture out. So once this is all finished, then we can go in there and move those out. I just don't know when we'll do that. Are you all ready for this, Megan? Yeah, I'm a little PTSD from using it last time. Oh, because it was so difficult. Yeah. Well, well I, when, once scenario, we got though. to this, I had tons of, once we got to this, we had all these scratches. So I was like, this time it should be easier. Should be. are sanded and they feel nice and smooth i mean we're not going to win any awards for these floors yes, we are, Megan. but we live in a little cottage and so you don't want pristine right you want yeah. a little bit more casual sure. Sure. did i show you guys yet i came up with a new stain that i think is going to work it's out here on the porch so what i did ignore right here but this top one is the one a little bit of stain from this one spilled onto there, so that's still really red. So it's just his top board. That top board is four parts Jacobian, one part driftwood, and one part classic gray. The driftwood gave us a little bit more of the warmth that I than I wanted. This was a because this was classic gray and Jacobian. We needed more Jacobian in this, or else it's too pink. So we got that. But anyways, I don't know. But the um, the driftwood's a little warmer with gray, and so it brings in a little bit more warmth. So that's what we're going with. All right, we got everybody with us. We are at Lowe's getting the stain, because I think Megan, you decided to stain tonight, right? Yeah, let's just stain it. Let's do it. Okay, <laughs> sweet. This is kind of crazy, but this is how we're gonna do it. Let's see, are four of these in a gallon? All right, did we make it clear that we're doing, we decided to stain it today? Well, we, I don't know, where, where, how do we leave it last time? I don't know, but we went to Chick-fil-A for dinner and it was fun. And then we're like, let's just do it tonight because it really will only take about an hour to get the stain on. And then it has over- Even that, yeah. Has yeah. overnight to- That was the main thing, like- Dry or whatever, cure. Last time I did my stains, I didn't stir them very well. And so it was hard to replicate in another room. So lesson learned. It looks like you didn't stir that very well though. I did. I don't think you stirred it very well. Look at all that crap at the bottom. <laughs> You're talking about how you didn't stir very well and then you stirred it for like 
15 seconds. You know what, Michael? <laughs> There's no way to know that. We can all see. We can do the playback on it. So this is like, see more yellow. It's still greenish, which is good because that takes down the red. Is that long enough for you, sir? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Just don't want everything sitting sit at the bottom. It's kind of a lot of fun. You're not supposed to shake them. I don't know why. Gosh, Megan, <laughs> just dropped it in there. The thing about stains, the reason why they're hard to stir is it feels like the immediate, like the stuff on the bottom wants to settle to the bottom. And so like the second you stop stirring it, it's like gone back down to the bottom. Oh. That's what it feels like at least. So are you gonna pour that whole gallon in there? Yeah. Whoa. You're so good at this. Yeah, I know. I'm really good at this. This is our floor stain color. This is your witch's cauldron over this here. This is it. Um, so then uh, we need to go in and get it ready in there. And then I have a smaller pail I'll pour this into so I'm not like dragging this huge. That's bit food grade, by the way. Mm -hmm. Not the stain. So you could it. eat the, the, <laughs> the stain. <laughs> food grade stain. Mm -hmm. See, if people see that bucket, they're gonna be like, oh, I can eat whatever's in Chocolate here. Chocolate syrup. Mmm. Now I am going to vacuum the floor one more time, and then I'm gonna start staining, and I'm totally nervous about it because, I mean, once you start, that you start. And I don't expect it to match perfectly, but I guess once I start, I'll know how much it matches, how well it matches, and let's hope that it's close enough. So I'll start over there since, so that I can see the floors that I'm trying to match it with, and then I'll just move I guess kind of around like this and end up over there probably, but yeah, here we go. Okay, I have all of my supplies. I've done this a tiny bit. I'm gonna change my shoes, <laughs> hold on. So I have a bucket for throwing my dirty rags in. I have a pie pan with tin foil over it with my stain in. I have more stain outside. I have t-shirt rags, I have gloves, and I have knee pads. Now I just need the nerve to do this. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, that's pretty similar. It looks fairly similar. Earlier when I sanded, I kind of messed up the original floors, but I just wanted to be able to touch them up. I mean, it, oh, sorry, camera. It's slightly pinker, but it's still a nice brown. I mean, it's definitely pinker, but I don't know. Let's get going. We got it all on, but now if you're wondering why I was going by in the time lapse, we have a ghost walk tonight. That's why we weren't going to do it, but and also by I had Mike tape over because I could barely move my arm anymore. It was so tired, and now I'm just kind of going over any spots that are a little bit sticky with the rag under my feet, like inching along. And the kids are staying in the rooms because it smells bad out here. We're probably all dying of fume inhalation. But we're going to go to the ghost walk and then, um, yeah, we got to go do that. <laughs> Crazy day. Okay, it's the next day. And I just swept the floors because more dust settled on them in the night. And today Mike and I are going to wax the floors together. He's finishing up some work on the computer, so I just figured I'd get started. My body is very tired. <laughs> when I was sweeping, I'm like, oh, 
Lots of muscles were used yesterday that haven't been used in a while. I mean, I'm usually in the gym a lot, but just kidding. So I'm gonna do that, and then I don't remember how long it is before we can put like the furniture back on, but I don't, I think today we can put the furniture back in the room. So that'll be pretty sweet. Pulled this out. That's so. That, that used to be white. Sick. I, That's all this dust from the floors. Yeah, it's just a cheap filter, but man, that uh, that got clogged up pretty fast. Yeah. We have waxed the floors, and now we're gonna go and buy a buffer, a car buffer. Yeah. Because um, Mike saw a Ryobi one that uses our Ryobi batteries, for like 35 bucks or 45. I don't remember. And we're gonna buff the wax in, and then we're gonna pull the furniture back on. So that was physically demanding, but especially because I had painted, that I had sanded, and Mike too, and then we had stained, and then we had to wax. But in a year or so when we need to touch up the wax, we'll only be waxing. We won't be doing all of those things, so it won't be so hard on our bodies. But it looks great. I'll show you in a minute. Just got back from the Home Depot and Mike yeah. got himself a new tool. Watch this. Oh. I want to touch it. Put it in your face. No, my gosh, that would hurt. Would yeah, because of the microfibers would like literally rub your skin off. Well, this is um this is just like I still think it would give you like rug burn. Oh well, yeah. We bought one because we will buff the floors every time we wax them. Is the theory, at least. To make sure. <laughs> oh and this is small, easy to store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because obviously we could have bought like a big one. Stand up one but... Also, you can use that one on your car, huh? Totally. That's what it really was. That's always the dream that you're gonna like wax your car all the time and then you do it once and never again. Yeah. Well, we have some beautiful cars too. <laughs> okay, where should I start? Um, I don't Somewhere know. So that you don't have to get up? Yep. <laughs> I am physically very tired. Let me, um, let me get my uh, knee pads on. Okay. Okay. Now the question is, do you hold it like this or like this? I would think that. That way? Yeah. Yeah, the name's forward. Name's yeah. Forward. I really don't know if this is going to make any difference on this floor. Okay, well, let's see. Oh yeah, you can feel it working. Definitely, I can see it getting shinier. Can you? Mm -hmm. I guess how much is the question, you know, like... I think that's enough. I don't think you need to stay like really long. Just sort of a quick... Yeah. Okay, the floors are buffed and as you can see, have a real nice shine to them now. I feel like such a grown up. This thing worked really well. I mean, this is unsolicited, uh, plug, but this Ryobi buffer, which is only $45 from Home Depot, worked really well. It's awesome. You know, just thought. So now we're going to bring the furniture back in. Okay, we just finished dinner. We had spaghetti and meatballs, or fettuccine and meatballs. It was delicious. And the floors are done. And the kids were able to slide on them. They're so, that buffing with the wax made such a nice finish. We've got some of our rugs back in, some of our furniture back in. Come back for our next video, because we will be able to put in our trim. And that means our furniture finally, once the trim is in. And then we can start working on this. I'm so excited about it. It's gonna be the jewel of the house. So thanks for coming along, guys. Our bodies are definitely very tired. Mine is at least. 
Not Yours me isn't. though. Yeah. I can handle it. Yeah, that's true. But um, we're just going, going, going. We have a live stream tonight over on our other channel, Planted with the Norbs, where we have been teaching essential oil classes. We used to teach, if you've been here a while, we used to teach classes on Facebook. We had a group on there, but mm. it was a little crazy. And so we, and we, I got off Facebook and then we kind of took a break wondering how we were gonna do it. We didn't realize all of our friends are on YouTube, so we'll just teach them there. So we started that channel in June. Yeah. And it's been really fun getting to know all of you and talk about that. So I think we'll have some future plans on how we can do more live streams because unexpectedly we are having a lot of fun. So come on over there if you haven't yet. We'll put a link in the description Perfect. for it. But anyways, thanks guys. Thanks for being motivating and helping us continue on. Mm -hmm. And um, thanks for all of your support and your friendship. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.